often called Tiffany's Tips and Tricks. Now, just for those of you who may not know, my name isn't really the cake lady, it is Tiffany. And um, I just wanted to share with you some tips and tricks that I have learned over the years. These are short little um, bits of information that uh, can really help your cake and cookie decorating um, go a little bit more smoothly. So today's tip and trick, I wanna talk to you about my love-hate relationship with shaped pans. Uh, you probably know what these are. Um, these are pans that are shaped, and whenever you put the cake batter in, you bake it, it comes out looking like that shape, and then you can decorate it however you want. Usually you use a star tip, and you do like a million stars all over that cake. Um, I love them because it's super easy. That's actually how I got started doing cake decorating. My son, who is now 14, almost 15, his first birthday cake was Blue's Clues. My hate part of the relationship is you have to pay for them, and depending on the type you get, they generally run 10, 15, 20 plus dollars. And the other hate part is that they take up so much space, and you probably are going to only use them one time unless you just have a ton of people wanting to make wanting you to make loose loose cakes um, I still have that pan and I can tell you I have used it one time but it takes up a lot of space in my cabinets so how can you get around paying a lot of money for a shaped pan and maybe not keep taking up a lot of space in your cabinets well the first thing you want to do is look for maybe a cake pan that you will be able to use more than one time. Okay, so for example, I found the Stadium cake pan at Goodwill the other day. Cake pan is actually a really nice one. It's a Nordic Ware pan. It's perfect. It was a little gunky on the inside, so I just stuck it in the dishwasher. Cleaned up very nicely. I can use this for Super Bowl parties, which I'm going to do in a couple of weeks here. Um, I can use it for um, a game day. You know, I'm a big OU fan, so if we have Bedlam game or the Red River rivalry, we can make a, a cake pan and decorate it OU. So this is a cake pan I would probably get a little bit of mileage out of. Plus, it's just a really high quality pan. So you can look for cake pan, shaped cake pans at Goodwills or garage sales. That takes care of the expensive price part of it, okay? Now, if you wanna address the other con of shape pans, which are, they take up a lot of space. One amazing tip I have found, well, a couple actually. One tip I have found is that some stores will rent the cake pans out. Um, if you remember, my favorite cake store uh, here in Wichita is called Cake Stuff. They actually have a place where you can rent cake pans and it's only just a few dollars a day. Uh, you do have to have a deposit down, but you get that back whenever you turn in your cake. So that takes care of not having a lot of space taken up by these cake pans that you're only gonna use one or twice, once or twice in your lifetime. Um, and they have a lot of variety, so probably the one you're looking for they have. now. Um, when I did my daughter's cake for her birthday here, she wanted one of those doll cakes, you know, the, it's like the dress and you stick the Barbie doll in the middle. That's the kind of cake she wanted. Well, I couldn't find it at Cake Stuff. They did not have that pan to rent. Now, they did have it to buy. I found it at Cake Stuff. I found it at Michael's and it was almost... 25 to 30 dollars depending on where I bought it now I know I'm not going to use that cake pan again most likely so I turned to my probably top favorite place to find cake pans it's your local library not every library does it but I have two in my area that rent or loan out cake pans zero dollars for a deposit you only get it for a few days but if you ask nicely, the librarian might extend your checkout period. So I hope that's helped you. Um, 
with some ideas for cake pans, for the shaped cake pans. Um, I'm not necessarily against them. I don't use them as much as I used to as you get um, to be a little bit better, a little bit more confident baker and decorator. You probably won't use them as much, but they're still fun. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're looking forward for more tips or tricks, let me know what's something you are wondering about that you might need some help with in cake decorating or cookie decorating. Maybe I can find a quick tip or a trick that I've used in the past that will help you. Um, comment below. Uh, if you haven't had a chance yet, please uh, subscribe to my channel so you can get alerts to all my new videos. It's a new year, so I'm gonna try to do a few more videos than I did last year. Um, from my kitchen to yours, have a wonderful day.